Hi, this is Guardian and Chip. Doing our rounds, going in our field. And Guardian's having a bit of freedom. Though there's gunshots and oh, God knows what. He's enjoying himself. It's freezing cold. It must be about two, if that. But because we're on a hill as well, it makes it more colder. But he does enjoy his runs, so we thought we'd walk up this way, as this is the field that is public. But I just hope he doesn't see all the dogs, because he thinks all dogs and humans are friendly. That's the only reason my son does. He doesn't see that they're not friendly, and um, not all dogs are friendly, and not all humans are friendly, are they? But Guardian doesn't understand that. Being a service dog, you see, there's three rules. Service dog must show no aggression at all. Not even protection aggression. So, um, not in the way where if someone grabbed you, he'd be able to attack him. He shouldn't have none of that. Um, second, he should have um, a form of understanding that all animals have a right to be in the area and not just him and the third and most important is the fact that he trusts humans and animals now it goes against everything unfortunately it goes against everything dogs stand for because dogs are supposed to protect their owners and their properties and their families they're supposed to shoo other animals off they're supposed to shoo other animals off to say, oi, that's my family, in case of threat and danger. So it does take a lot of hard work and a lot of training, two years of training from the day they're born. The mothers teach them first and then uh, the trainers teach them and then after two years. But with Guardian, because I'm autistic, with learning difficulties, unfortunately, I can't do that with Guardian because it's going to sound silly but adult dogs are like adult people they're strangers and I can't get on with them so when Guardian was born I was there and we sort of built a bond from day one so it's been a good bond since day one since I've had him and um, it seems to work better because he's picking up on all my medical needs really really quick Whereas normally you would have to pick up a service dog and then the service dog will have six months of training um, of what your medical needs are. Whereas one that's been with you since eight weeks old, they learn about your temperament, your where you feel. Come! The way you feel, the way you are, the way you breathe, stuff like that, your disabilities, your inabilities to do stuff and they sort of fit in with you which is also natural order in dogs they seem to know what you're capable of and what you're not to be fair and the good thing about having an uh, having a service dog is the fact that not only does he help me with the things I can't do but he helps me achieve the things that I didn't think I could do because everyone keeps telling you long enough that you can't do something you start believing them <whistles> come on so if you've got a bit of spare cash and all charities are worth it, try and put it towards service dogs, a little bit towards service dogs. Any any penny helps, you know? And uh, it is hard work. And there's quite a lot of us out there with learning difficulties, autistic people, that want to live in society like everyone else and feel like everyone else, normal. Come on, good boy. And to be fair, Hello, pup. To be fair, um, Guardians helped me get out a lot, do a lot of things. I mean, fair enough, I've been coming here for four years and it's only at the back of my house, so technically I'm not going far with Guardian, but I would have never done this on my own. So, or with anyone else, it would have took him ages. But imagine going to school, college, we're scared as it is, but if we've got our best friend by our side, you imagine we could achieve so much because not only 
he does good when I'm <laughs> chasing the bird. Not only am I doing good, but with Guardian, he seems to, when we go to say Tesco's or shopping, he helps me a lot because when people look at you and stare at you because of what you've got, they don't. They don't notice what you're wearing or what you've got or what you look like or what you sound like or who you are. They notice Guardian. And he goes up to Guardian. And then because they ask me questions about Guardian and service dogs and in general, they start talking about things a lot better and you understand them because you know everything about your dog, you know? So they don't talk to you about your autism or how can you do shopping when you're autistic? How, how do you do that? It's like, well, actually, <laughs> you know, you pick up something, you put it in, in the item, into the basket. That's basic. Now, again, I don't understand all the money thing in that lot and how much it costs. And sometimes I, I admit I would pick a toy over, say a new toy's come out and it looks good. Right. Well, we're going to get off now and finish our walk and it's very cold so I want to put my hands in my pocket with my gloves and hopefully we'll speak to you soon if you like or subscribe if you want to ask any questions about service dogs or need a service dog or need you've got autistic autism or even if you've got a disorder where your face um, has um, a disorder or you're disabled in any way where people stare at you get a service dog that way they won't stare at you as much to be too busy staring at your dog. Okay, we'll speak to you soon. From me and Guardian. Come Guardian. We're saying goodbye. From me and Guardian. Um when he finishes digging up the roots. Um we'll say goodbye for now and speak to you soon. Bye.